<coughs> we now have a bit of experience with blasting. Um, I hope you enjoyed it because we're going to be doing more of it and we're going to be doing it for good. What do I mean by that? We want the entire shoe to be sitting snugly in line to last, no wrinkles. The edge, we want to be a sharp crease, right? So where the shoe goes into the sole, the edge boundary between the sole and the shoe should be a very sharp crease, something that we will use a hammer for. And everywhere, including the heel and the toe, we want the excess material to lie as flat as possible. To accomplish all of that, we're actually going to be taking the upper and the lining of the last, and we're going to be putting an inner sole at the sole of the last. That way we can glue our lining and our upper to the sole and hammer it down and make it neat, right? So um, don't think that this work was for nothing. Uh, this has given our ladder a little bit of the chance to get used to its new shape. Um, but we're going to take it off, we're going to do it again uh, and do it properly this time. As you can see, our shoe is starting to hold its shape on its own. It's off the last now. It's going to set it to the side here, but I hope you can see that our work has not been for nothing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the inner sole. The inner sole will come here and it needs to be the exact same size as your last um, and fall exactly on the edge between the side of the shoe and the sole. So take some paper and uh, place that on your last at a single nail at the heel. And I'm going to add another nail here somewhere in the middle. And finally one towards the tip. So our paper now follows our last, as you can see. So now um, you can use a pencil or anything really, but I'm, I'm using this blue tailor chalk. And I'm just going to rub it over the last so that the outline, the ridge, will become visible. There we go. As you can see, this is relatively easy. It's um, clear where the outline is. Now we will cut this out. There you go. This will be our inner sole. You can cut this out of the leather, same leather that we used for the toe cap and the heel enforcement. Like a it's worth pointing out that you need to cut two mirror images of itself. So um, you cut one like this and then you flip it around and cut another like this. So here we go, two insoles cut out. We're now going to put these on our last with the good side of the leather down. So when you look inside your shoe, this is what you see. Incidentally, because when you look inside your shoe, this is what you see. This is a prime spot for some branding. Um, I'm just going to secure this with like two nails, one at the heel, one at the tip, and then we'll start lasting again.